So um, this ad is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hello, friends, and welcome to Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. I'm your host, Robin Norgren, and you are in the middle of a series with me called Love Poems from God. We're looking at 12 sacred voices from the East and the West and taking that poetry and allowing it to be our meditation to connect more deeply with God and more specifically the love God has for us. Uh, This series, um, we have looked at um, Rabia of Sufi tradition and St. Francis of Assisi and Rumi. And right now, um, a new uh, person, at least to me, Meister Eckert, and we uh, will begin with the reading of his poetry. Expands his being. All beings are words of God, his music, his art. Sacred books we are for the infinite camps in our souls. Every act reveals God and expands his being. I know that may be hard to comprehend. All creatures are doing their best to help God in his birth of himself. Enough talk for the night. He is laboring in me. I need to be quiet for a while. Worlds are forming in my heart. A plague. What a cruel act to be untruthful. Earthquakes happen in the heart that hears sounds that are amiss. Havoc is created in the mind that can no longer trust someone once loved. And schisms devour alliances that help support our life. Words can enrich and be as wonderful spices mixed into the days we imbibe with all our senses. There are fields in the soul, lush organic meadows. Those sounds and words that fall there can be at times a poison. A plague is spread by one who cannot tell the truth. Everything, everything I see, hear, touch, feel, taste, speak, think, imagine, is completing a perfect circle God has drawn. An insidious idol. Commerce is supported by keeping the individual at odds with himself and others by making us want more than we need and offering credit to buy what refined senses do not want. The masses become shackled. I see how their eyes weep and are desperate. Of course they feel desperate for something, for some remedy that a poor soul then feels needs to be bought. I find nothing more offensive than a God who could condemn human instincts in us that time and all its wonder have made perfect. I find nothing more destructive to the well-being of life than to support a God that makes you feel unworthy and in debt to it. I imagine erecting churches to such a strange God will assure endless wars that commerce, that commerce loves. A God that can frighten is not a God, 
but an insidious idol and weapon in the hands of the insane. A God who talks of sin is worshipped by the infirm. I was once spiritually ill. We all pass through that. But one day, the intelligence in my soul cured me. And the last one, an image that makes them sad. How long will grown men and women in this world keep drawing in their coloring books an image of God that makes them sad? Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure and like in your favorite podcast venue and share with your friends. So glad we can be a part of growing and learning together.